Hi everyone, this is Lady Sweet Tart and welcome to a very special video. So today I am going to be showing you how to fix a very common problem that I and many others seem to be running into when making the conversion from G-Shade to Reshade. So we all know um, for reasons that won't be gotten into, a lot of us simmers recently have made that switch um, from G-Shade back to Reshade. Um, but one of the problems coming up is that for a lot of people, myself included, some of the G-Shade presets that we came to know and love just weren't looking right once we made that switch back to Reshade. So little disclaimer here, I'm not going to claim I am a Reshade expert or that this video is gonna solve every single Reshade problem. I'm just going with one that I know is super common and what was actually wrong when I did it and what helped me. MXAO is a group of shaders that have this beautiful little shadowy effect um, that you can clearly see here with the lovely Zahira SM that I just recently made, who is passing the time reading Love in the Time of Sandwiches, as you do. Um, but when I made that switch to reshade, I noticed this effect just really wasn't working. Um, one of the shaders I really like to use, but I also have many others, but it does, as you can see, use this MXAO. And the first problem that I came across in getting this preset and the others that use MXAO was that I discovered I didn't even have all of the MXAO effects in my game. <laughs> Apparently the newest version of Reshade, um, which is the one I have, I believe it's 5.6.0, whichever one is the current one, it only comes with one of the MXAO effects. And if you do a search um, here for the effects, there actually are three different MXAO effects that I've seen in Sims presets. And so um, this Quint one apparently is the only one that actually comes in the newest edition of Reshade. But a lot of the G-Shade presets that we came to know and love use this MXAO 4.0 and also some of them use the MXAO FFXI, FFXI V, which I believe was originally a Final Fantasy shader. I'm not sure. But anyway, apparently it looks really good in the Sims game. So um, really, for some of your presets, you're gonna need these two, not just the Quint one. So that was the first thing I ran into is I looked and I'm like, all I've got for MXAO is this Quint. I don't even have these regular MXAOs. So I'm like, how am I gonna get that? So first I thought, let's just go back to an old version of Reshade, right? Because Apparently a lot of the older versions do still have these MXAO effects. But then when I did that, it actually, a lot of my presets just weren't working at all. So I'm like, okay, well that's not gonna work. I really need to find these MXAO files and get them in my game. So I did something that was a little sketch and don't worry. The solution I'm gonna give you guys isn't gonna force you to do that. But what I did was I actually saw that someone on Reddit had shared basically every shader that's ever existed. <laughs> and they had it in a file, and so I downloaded this file. I know it's not a good idea to download files from people you don't know, but I did it. I got the MXAO files and I added them into my shader. So I'm gonna show you where that will go. So once you've downloaded those files that I have shared on my SIM file share, the two MXAO files, you're going to copy and paste or cut and paste those two files and you're going to bring them to the same location where you actually installed the reshade program under origin games and then when you go to sims 4 um you know obviously you guys probably know this part because most of you i'm sure have already downloaded reshade but you're just going to go to the game and then bin and then of course you're going to take those mxao files and you're going to put them in this file called reshade shaders and then you're going to go to shaders um, and as you can see, um, I can't copy and paste them because I've already got them, but you can see them sitting pretty right here. So you're just gonna paste them right into this folder and voila, you will have your MXAO files. And then at that point, you're just gonna go back into your game. Now, if you're like me, once you get back in the game, well, they're not there anymore, obviously, but when I first added the MXAO effects back into my reshade when I opened my game I had these ugly black bars just going all the way across the screen like to the point where I could hardly see my game it was bad and so I'm like what am I gonna do like now I've got these ugly black shadowy bars well shout out to this wonderful simmer 
on Twitter um, called Dolores, also known as Halloween Sims, who it does look like has a Tumblr, uh, but they actually posted this very helpful comment that totally solved my problem that I was having at this point, um, as you can see on the screen. So big shout out to them for that. Basically what you need to do is once you're in the game, you're gonna bring up your reshade menu and you're going to find your MXAO effect, which should be right here. And you're going to come down here to this blue bar that's towards the bottom that says edit global preprocessor definitions. So when I was having all the black lines, this third thing here, this reshade depth input is reversed um, column. I don't even know what any of this means, mind you, but this here, it was on one. Um, I can probably actually show you. I can switch it back and maybe you can see what problem I was talking about when I had it on one. See how there's like all these black shadowy bars and look at how my sim looks like you can barely see her. So yes, don't press one. It's probably gonna be on one, at least it was for me, but this is super easy to fix. All you do is change this one under the reshade depth input is reversed to zero and voila. I promise you this is going to take care of the problem. And as you can see, everything looks beautiful again. We have this beautiful MXAO shadow effect. We don't have these crazy black lines running through the screen whenever I move the cursor. So that was how I was able to get my G-Shade presets to look right in reshade. I hope this video was very helpful to you. If it was, don't forget to like the video as well. It definitely helps my channel out. Also, I'd love it if you drop a comment below because I do always love hearing what you have to say. It honestly makes my day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.